Well, gang, we have a double crash of the Titans on Monday. Both of them are going to be against Icarus. So, let's just get into it. Do all the YouTube stuff. Icarus is a red, purple, and yellow user. I have to go and pull up my Icarus to fully give out all the stats and abilities, which I know his purple lets him go airborne and his yellow increases his match damage and all that good stuff. Constant Blast is his red ability, cost 8, deals damage, ignores projectiles, and then the condition, if Icarus returns from being airborne, then you generate uh, 3 purple AP and 3 yellow AP. So, when you fire off the Cosmic Blast after he comes back from being airborne, he'll feed into his other abilities. Get the levitation, cost six is both the active and a passive. For six purple, Icarus goes airborne for four turns. And then while he's airborne and he has no active allies, whenever he makes a friendly match, um is that the damage is increased by three hundred and eighty percent uh to the enemy in the back. But since this is a one on one fight, uh that's not gonna matter. It's just gonna deal the three is either 380 to to us regardless and then rise again is it is his passive though we don't have to worry about the the first por portion of the passive but for full context if at the start of the turn Icarus has at least nine yellow a AP and he's downed then you'll drain all the yellow AP uh, he gets healed at 100% uh, health and he goes airborne airborne for 5 turns and then while Icarus has yellow AP his match damage is increased by 25% and obviously this effect increases while he's airborne stats for those that care heroes, eternals, godlike and deity and let's see who we are using Black Knight so one airborne user to another Black Knight green black and yellow user uh, obviously a friend of the Eternals and, and an Avenger as well black is the soul this one here is his green ability cost 9 deals damage to enemy team ignores any enemy projectiles Creates two charge tiles, and if there's at least four more charge tiles on the board, you destroy a random row. And if there's at least six or more charge tiles, then you destroy up to two enemy strike attacker protect tiles. And then obviously destroyed tiles don't generate AP or deal damage. At higher levels, more charge tiles are protect are created. You know, more damage, all that good stuff. Nighttime is his black AP move. So it deals damage to the target for seven, uh, creates a fortified countdown tile. And while this tile is on the board, this power becomes night eternal. Now this is the, the cool portion about it. So as long as that protect tile is on the board, any move that would down Black Knight would, uh, would not down him, okay? Uh, it said whenever a friendly countdown tile expires, you uh, do true heal. Short four charge tiles on the board, and if there's no nighttime tile, if there's no nighttime tile on the board, then it reverts back to nighttime, and you can repeat the cycle all over again. And then finally, Dane from above is his passive ability, well, passive and active for five yellow. Uh, he goes airborne for two turns at the start of the turn. Uh, fortify black friendly countdown tile, deal damage, uh, prioritizing a non-target enemy, and then create five projectiles on the board, and whenever the black knight returns from being airborne, create five charge tiles. Alright, affiliations for those that care, heroes, heroes for hire, defenders, Excalibur, and Avengers for those that care. Alright, strategy time. So, how in the world... Are we going to tackle Icarus? Well, for starters, 
we need to deny his yellow uh, full tilt. And the reason why we need to deny his yellow full tilt, well, we already seen that his max damage gets increased. So that's number one. Number two, we need to deny purple as much as we can. So if we see a purple match, we need to snatch that there up real quick. Third, you probably want to deny some red too. Then we're going to need to get black AP for Dane so he can, you know, nullify some of the, the, the damage that he would take that would quote unquote down him. So use that and then get airborne for two turns with his yellow and then hopefully you know things won't get out of hand so so let's look at it like i said there's the purple match there so let's deny that i know he's gonna grab yellow that's that's okay let's grab this black oh no That mass damage is getting increased now. And now he's airborne, so we need to deny red real quick. Alright. Gonna activate nighttime now. Oh, man, get the levitation again. Great. And then our countdown tile just expired. Yep. And like I said, that was the extra, extra mass damage there from Icarus getting airborne. So we're going to run this here back again. Again, somewhat of a bad board, but again, the strategy, the strategy more or less is the same. Grab that black. Grab that. Snatch that up. Cool, we get a board shake in our favor. Again, like I said, we'll deny that purple. No, because I don't want to set him up for a uh, potential the crazy match for. All right, let's go up one for two turns. Let's avoid taking damage. All right, there goes the charge tiles. I go night eternal. Uh, let's deny this red room. I actually, no, I yellow with the charge tile. Cause I didn't realize he was. Let's say he was about to start up like that again. That's okay. Get him airborne. Avoid all this damage here. Let's 
Alright, get the true heal off. Avoid some damage real quick. What's up? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hand, hand it to you. Alright, let's get airborne again. Alright, then... Boom, and there we go. So... <laughs> again, not necessarily... Easy squeezy lemon peasy. Took, took us two attempts to get it done. But... Uh, the job is done. Uh, don't mind me. I am... Trying to handle some business real quick before I resume resume this video here. So do not mind me. Okay, business is handled. There's the Black Knight giving us the 10th anniversary token there goes one of our legendary tokens there along with all the you know all the rewards from the crash of the titans uh thanks alliance for for somewhat playing got to get rid of some folks pretty soon um the second fight with icarus would we'll just again just run it back this time without commentary
There you go, the one HP strats. <laughs> oh, man, gotta love it, gotta love it. So, as far as who to pair up the Black Knight with, anybody that makes protectiles, or I should say anybody, that, yeah, anybody that makes protectiles, because that way he can, you know, do a little bit more with his, um, with his board shakes, um, then obviously anybody that can make him go airborne, so, you know, your, your Colossus, though, you probably want to use Colossus as yellow, um, a pretty fun team that I've done in the past is with Vulture and Black Knight. Uh, you could also probably use uh, the four star Throg since Throg's yellow sends folks airborne and then um, Dane Whitman creates he creates charge tiles on the board and then once those charge tiles are destroyed well is that once he creates charge tiles, they get destroyed. Uh, Throg will destroy those char his charge tiles too. So again, that's that's a little bit of synergy there, you know, especially with both of their greens and whatnot. So you know, you got some experimenting to do with with the Black Knight. Ooh, I kind of wish this one here was the double crash, but instead it's going to be the four star iron fist. I'll more than likely use my, I'm not going to use my 370. I'm probably use my, my other, excuse me, iron fist. I'm going to make sure that I got him championed out. Yes. Yeah, so my level 279, yeah, I'll be using that one there uh, for the crash. So thank you all for watching hopefully you got your support from the the quandary pvp or well, pve event you know for the heroic uh so like i said i'll see y'all see y'all monday until then take care of, take care of your fellow human beings and i'm gonna catch y'all later peace